Hey guys, this is Dan with Adventuring Today. Hope you're doing great. Uh, it's the middle of December and I've got a decent day outside. We finally have spent uh, the past two or three days in uh, pretty much a downpour and the, the sun broke today so I thought, you know what, I've got to get over to the, the travel trailer and pull our battery out. So I had the, the trailer winterized about six weeks ago and um, you know one of the things I like to do is, is take good care of my batteries and so I pulled the battery out today and I wanted to talk to you a little bit about wintertime maintenance on batteries and share with you a couple tools that I use and in the show notes of this video you can find links to these two devices that I think are just absolutely vital to maintaining batteries and so here we go let's uh, let's talk about this a little bit so here we are so this is my um, my battery out of my RV um, the battery that the RV came with was uh, a Continental battery. It was okay. It lasted a little bit over a year. And so I replaced this um, over the summer with this Duralast battery. And you know, just what I found is just for, for value, for how much money you spend on a battery and what you get out of it, Duralast are pretty tough to beat. They're one of the higher quality batteries out there. Now, one of the devices I wanted to talk to you about is this device right here. So this is a device that's manufactured by a company called Ancel, that's A-N-C-E-L. And uh, this is the B100, I'm sorry, BA101, BA101. Again, I'm gonna have a link to this device at the in the show notes of this video. So this is a battery tester and it actually puts a load on the battery to uh, determine how healthy your battery is. So. Now I've got my battery already hooked up here and when I when you hook up these terminals I like to you know make sure you get a good connection so I turn them a few times to make sure they've got a nice strong connection through any corrosion or dirt that might have built up on the battery terminal and uh, the first thing that you want to do is you when you when you connect your battery on this uh, with this battery tester is you need to tell it how many amp hours your battery is so what we do with the battery is we come down here typically there's going to be a sticker and on this battery the sticker is conveniently placed right on top and so it is a this is a, a, a group 24 battery uh, it has a thousand cranking amps cold cranking amps and the reserve capacity if you can read that it's kind of tough is 115 um, 115 uh, uh, amp hours of re reserve capacity and so on your battery tester then you just would push this button until you got to 115 which is right here and this is such an easy tester to use once you have that amp hour entered into the tester you just push this enter button here and it does a quick test so right now a load is being placed on the battery and and what this uh, test has told us is that the battery is a hundred percent healthy um, which is what we, what would you expect with it only being maybe six months old now the cold cranking amps which is right here is at 725 now the battery is a thousand cold cranking amps um, so like why is that a little bit lower? Well typically these batteries are gonna register a little bit below what their ratings are for one reason or another um, but also my charge level here is at 93 percent now it's been a good six weeks since uh, this battery's been charged up and it's lost about seven percent of its charge over that time period which is which is about the right the right amount you would think it would lose um, we still have 12.56 volts of uh, of, of power in the battery and um, it's telling us that it's a good battery now if this was a bad battery it would tell us bad battery down here um, so so this this tester is really great to use it, it works for any battery up to about um, 2,000 cold cranking amps I think is where the rating is and so you can use it on your lawnmower you can use it on your boat you can lose it on your RV your truck your coach batteries if you've got a motorhome there's a lot of different uses for a, a, a chart a, a battery tester like this so so this is my first weapon in maintaining a healthy battery now my, my second weapon is this device right here 
and I love this battery charger. Um, this is a battery charger manufactured by a company called SeaTech. Uh, this is the MUS 4.3. This device has been out for a number of years. I think this charger is about five years old. You can still buy this exact same charger, let's say on Amazon, and again, I'm gonna have a link to this device at the end of the video. Uh, but there's something really special about this device. And so I'm gonna get this thing hooked up here and then I'm gonna come right back and I'm gonna talk to you about it. Hey guys, okay, so I'm back. I've got the battery hooked up here. Um, positive terminal, negative terminal. And it's been hooked up for maybe five minutes since I uh, shut the video down. Now, you know, I went and grabbed the iPad because you know, I don't have all the terminology memorized on what, uh, you know, I'm not an expert on batteries or anything like that, but, um, but I do know that this battery charger does things that, that most battery chargers don't do. And not only that, it does it in such a, a clean way and, and, a, and an effective way. So one is the desulfation process, which removes sulfate from lead plates. Um, if you have a deep cycle battery, whether you're using this in a boat, um, coach batteries maybe on a, on a motorhome or you know just your, your your batteries on a travel trailer or a fifth wheel you, know, you need to maintain these batteries properly they're, they're a big investment and um, and if they go bad typically they go bad at the wrong time and you just don't want that to happen so if you're putting your batteries in storage for more than maybe a month or two then I would recommend getting one of these battery chargers and um, and hooking your battery up to them up to the charger so you can keep your batteries healthy you will not believe how much longer your batteries will last if a couple times a year you let a battery charger like this one uh, be hooked up to your your batteries um, this battery charger also reconditions um, deep cell batteries so not only does it desulfonate them but it also will um, recondition the the plates so that they hold a better charge when when batteries get deeply discharged you know they can become damaged through that process and this battery charger has the ability not to do miracles but to really bring a lot of life back in those batteries that have been fully discharged so i highly recommend this battery charger now there's a number of different modes on here so let's just run through these real quick this first mode is motorcycle mode so this would be designed for a smaller battery um, maybe you've got a little um six cell battery that might be on a, uh, a riding lawnmower or a snowmobile or a four-wheeler a wave runner um, you know something like that then you would want to use the the motorcycle mode um, if you have just a, a regular sedan or pickup truck and you're just looking for a quick um, recharge of the battery then you would choose the second uh, selection if you're looking to um, to trickle charge a battery and um, and it's maybe really cold outside and you're looking to, to get that battery uh, uh, back up to charge, then you would choose this mode. But if you're looking to recondition the plates, then you would want to choose this mode over here. Um, this battery charger is super effective, not only on your old school lead acid battery like I have here from Duralast, but it also works great on Optima batteries or even um, AGM batteries that um, you're finding, like on our, our Ford Expedition, we've got an AGM battery on there because it's got a, a, a auto shut off feature of the motor at stoplights and um, that battery is doing a lot of work and so it's got a special battery that's got extra capacity on there and this charge will do a great job of keeping that battery healthy. So anyway, th these two weapons I think are really important for anybody that is looking to maximize the life of the battery. This battery charger um, is SeaTech, it's the MUS 4.3 and then this Ancel battery tester, the BA101. These are just two awesome products to help uh, ensure that you're gonna get the most life and the most um, bang for your buck with your batteries. You know, the last thing that you wanna have happen if you're out on an RV trip with the family, for example, or at the Lake Fishing, is to, to hop back in the boat and the battery's dead or get out to the campsite and you can't open your slides because your battery's giving you problems. Um, it's just so frustrating and uh, can slow you down for two, three, four hours depending on how close you are to a place that can, uh, that can swap out a battery. So 
anyway, with, with some smart maintenance and not too much investment, uh, you, can, you can really do a lot to improve the health of the batteries and get a lot more life out of them. So um, I don't know if this is a, a, a fair comparison, but my neighbor and I both bought riding lawnmowers that use very similar batteries at the same time four years ago, and he has already had to change my video. He's already had to change his battery up once, and the, the battery in my riding lawnmower uh, is still going strong. I've tested it with this charger, and it's still showing that it's a very healthy battery. I, I can fully expect to get another two or three years out of that battery. Just because I put it on this charger a couple times a year, uh, it really is a game changer. So seriously consider uh, purchasing these. Again, I've got links to these products uh, in the show notes on this video. Thanks for being here today. Please subscribe to my channel, share with your friends, hit that bell so when new videos come out, you'll be notified. And uh, thanks again for being here. Take care. Have a great day.